Welcome back to Baldur's Gate 2, this day those are featuring the adventures of Morris the Bard Captain. I'm for Studios 42, and we are continuing our quest in hell yes. to find the Tears of Baal. We've got three of them, there are five in total. Let's go down these stairs, see what awaits. Where's the way down? Ah, there. The tear of Baal lies very close to here, child of Baal. Just beyond either of these two rooms before you. You have encountered many times in your existence where you have been forced to swallow your fear, no? You have fought off terror that would overwhelm a lesser being and shown courage instead. So true. Pass through either of these rooms and your vaunted courage shall be challenged, child of Baal. I have something I will offer, however, which will make it so much easier for your child. You know, like so many with power, that items of magic can do much that the ordinary man cannot. Such as this cloak, for instance. Stitched together from the flayed skins of lovely nymphs. Wear it and be soothed by its powerful magic. Panic will never overcome you again. Lovely nymphs. With this cloak, you could easily gather the tear of Baal and worry not of your courage. I bow to the power of your divine soul, child, and offer this cloak up to you, if you wish it. A cloak stitched together with the skin of lovely nymphs. I can feel it's evil from here. Yes, I'll take it. I do not need a cloak to give me courage. Fiend, take it and be gone. I'm not sure. Let me investigate the rooms and now just a magical cloak. Um, just because I'm going to say a magical cloak. Of course I'll take it. I mean, it's sort of the evil in inverted commas ways, but I'm a neutral character. I think doing one of the things the evil way is within role-playing, so yes, I'll take it. Then your courage shall stem from the power of the magic you wear. It shall be as you say, child of Baal. Here it be. The tear lies beyond. So, there you go. I get a cloak of bravery. Now, it does make you immune to fear and panic. Um, I will wear it temporarily. But not that I particularly need it because what we're going to do, we're going to cast protection from fear and everyone anyway. If you have this spell, I could swear you had it. Yes, you do. Who's this fear? Good fight! We're in an age of murder, child. Killing is our business. <laughs> On business be good. That's an interesting point in time to say that, Corgan. Ah, uh, then nothing be like battle to make your blood run hot. War be my salvation, and the measure of this man and all men verily. Um, agreed. The sword makes the man. I'll agree with Corgan. Makes the man and is the only true measure of his worth and metal. How would you know, dwarf? There's nothing special about your skills. I've seen better. I'll, I'll agree with him. I'll say, I agree. The sword maketh the man and is the only true measure of his worth and metal. Perhaps your head taint empty, but mostly hollow with some good sense vapors fogging your goggles. I like Corbin. Interesting, and that's an interesting point in time for him to decide to suddenly say that. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to go, we're gonna go this way first. We're protected from fear. Well, I've got the cloak and we cast some spell because what happens in this room is sort of voices which make you fearful what if you're you not protected from fear. But I am, so that's fine. And you can take those potions. Ah, excellent. We've got some healing potions. And strength potions. And those potions. Actually, I'll leave them out because they might be good for the, long, the final battle. Um, I think that's it. You are lucky I didn't pass it. Yeah. And now so I will go here because course. this is where you can get the, the final tier. Okay, the tier ball. With a cloak given by the demon, you've got no fur, no reset. The tear is. And there it is. And if you want, we can just walk back. But around this corner, I'm going to send Corgan Bank around the corner. Because I know what's there. Already. I mean, you, you sort of heard earlier. There are beholders there. Um, with that hammer, the strength should still be high. That's good. Um, be quick with it! Corgan. And later I'll split your gut open. <laughs> Can't save. That's better. Go for it, Corgan. Just 
for the experience. Go and attack those things. Now, we might be able to solo them, but we'll have the, the rest of the team is it protected from fire. Yeah, it's got some fire protection. I'll, uh, yes. I'll go in myself. I wouldn't dream of it. Spells. Probably end up hurting Corgan a bit, but hey. Just one blasting should do. If you get hurt, Corgan, sorry. Oh, it didn't seem to hurt Corgan that much. And now I'll get out of there Just and let Corgan finish it. Swap those back around. Come on, Corrin, finish it. Yeah, no problem for Corrin. Oh, they're casting some sort of maze on him. It failed though, he got that shield. Now send everyone in. And it's down. Uh, so I just fought them just to get some extra experience. So, we're done here. That's that area. Something you need. One more area before the final conflict, I do believe. Yes. Let's go up the stairs. I wouldn't dream of refusing. Down these stairs we go. Find where the stairs actually are. Sometimes it's hard to find exactly where the transition is. Oh, it's there. Let's go. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Ah, so the child of Ball comes to me finally for the last of the tears of Ball. You have come very near to locating your quarry. Yes, indeed, you have. Pride. I think if you go to this one first or not first, I think they've got different lines. So whichever one you see last, which is normally this one or seven, because you either go left to right or right to left. Um, but you can't take them in any order. I think the last one has a different voice line, which is a nice touch. What are you talking about? All I've been, all I have done is been subjected to a series of strange tests. Tests of a sort. Remember that the mage holds power here too and seeks to prevent you from finding him. The tests are your, of your own making from your own power. What do you mean? How do you find your soul, Charlabar? Do you find it on a stroll? No, you must know yourself. The depths of your passion and the height of your depravity. You come to know what you're capable of and shall open the way with your soul. It is within yourself, your essence, that you seek, whether you know it or not. And because of this is what you seek. Your power fights against the mage and brings you close to your goal. Soon you shall open the eyes with the tears of Baal. And what then? The door will open and Irenicus will be there. The way to your soul shall be revealed, but you only perceive it as a door. Pity that mortal minds can encompass more power than their faculties can comprehend. I hope you have been careful, child of Baal. The nine hells are a place of retribution. The tears sting as easily as they sweep. Why are you speaking so cryptically? What does this mean? I obscure the truth because it is my nature to do so all over the board of murder, but I bow to your mastery here and answer your questions nevertheless. It is a good thing you've come to me, child of Ball. Only you hold the power to vanquish the terrible creature that holds one of your dead father's tears here. I have heard of your prowess, child. Most impressive for a mortal life. Creatures of great power thrown aside as if they were nothing. Beings any other mortal would quake before, you have fought against valiantly. You are a wonder of destruction, child of all. Go then and defeat the creature that lies in the cavern. Crush it beneath your heel and claim another victory! And here, again, the evil way is to just go and kill whatever's there. The good way is to do a bit of talking about it. With regards to the tear, I suppose I have a little choice, and I say, what manner of creature do you speak? It is a powerful creature, child of Ball. One that only you can destroy. I am confident in your ability to deal death to such a creature as this, and take the tear that is yours. 
It is powerful, but what sort of creature is it? It is a creature that deserves death, child of Bor. You are such a wondrous fighter. I simply thought that you could defeat it where others failed. Why does it deserve death? Because... because it exists. It stands in your way. Are you saying it will not give me the tear? I do not just kill things because they're in my way. You do not? Then perhaps you consider carefully the place that your terrible power will focus upon? Consider the reason behind every blow? I see that despite your great deeds, you have no pride in you, child of war. So be it. Humility serves well those who wield it well. Indeed. It makes, it, makes certain things very easy. So, there you go. Mm -hmm. Well, let's add that Oh, to yes! The, and the creature, yes, it's a dragon. But, it's not attacking me. And, oh, we can even look over there. Let's have a look over here first. If you know what you're doing. Tears not here, but it's worth getting those potions. They will serve as well in the battle to come. Okay, let's just talk Something to the you need. I mean, it hasn't hurt us, has it? Just as I thought! You have mastered your pride, Boris. The tear of Boris is yours. Go well. I mean, you can fight it if you really want to. And, uh, you might get some experience for fighting it, but there's no need to, you can just talk to it. And off he or she goes. We didn't get any experience for that, but we've got the tier. That's what we need. So we've got all five tiers now. Yes. And I believe, for this area, mm -hmm. that is it. So let's go to the door. We've got five tiers, five slots. Something you need. Up Onward below. then. To the door. Five yes. eyes on the door. Okay. I'll activate four of them, because when you activate the fifth one, yes, it's final battle time. So one in each one of these. Oh. Mm -hmm. Maybe I have to do it. To the task at hand. Hello. Five eyes surround this hellish door, as if part of the st very stone itself. The eyes follow I'll watch your back. and a palpable aura of evil emanates from them. They guard this door, and if you wish to pass through, you must find some way of bypassing the guard. Or what about the tears? I've been granted plus two to your constitution. We have been granted 10% magic resistance. We have been granted plus two to all your saving throws. We have invented plus 20 resistance to fire, cold, and electricity. I'm not going to do the last one just yet because we're going to buff up the something that you need. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to save. And for now, I'm going to say like, comment, subscribe, and toodle pip. Next time will be the last episode, at least of Shadows of Arm, I do believe. Toodle pip.